Hello everyone, Mr. Mike here, and today you're reading a book called Everybody Move Your Feet by Sid the Science Kid. And I bet Sid's going to tell us why it's so important to exercise. Good morning, Sid. Sid has a new exciting news to share. I'm going to make a pillow for it and do nothing but watch my favorite TV show, Fire Dog Brigade, all weekend long. I'll sit in front of the TV all night and day. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a good idea. Isn't it a brilliant idea? Hmm. Well, Mom and Dad probably won't just watch TV plan, but why? I've got to know. What's the big deal with TV? Why can't I watch it all weekend? Sid, breakfast time. Breakfast time. TV, 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 TV. Sid yells, running into the kitchen. Good morning, Sid, Mom says. Sid greets his family. Hey, Zeke and Mom. Hi, Dad. Sid tells his family his super brilliant plan for the weekend. I have the best idea in the world. I'm going to bring a TV into my room and sit on my bed and watch Fire Dog Brigade all weekend long. Sid is all smiles and excitement as he awaits their response. I wonder what they're going to say. Hmm. All weekend long? Sid, you cannot watch TV all weekend long, Mom answers. All that TV wouldn't be good for you. Dad says, your body would get really tired. Excuse me? Maybe, maybe Mom and Dad didn't hear Sid. How could he get tired? Sid wouldn't be moving. He'd be watching. But your body needs to move, Dad answers. You need to exercise your muscles like... No way. This, Dad says, striking a pose and doing knee, deep knee bends. Sid's mom agrees. If you didn't move at all and just watch TV, your body would turn to mush, she says. Feels good. I love exercise. Sid doesn't quite understand. I know. I'll investigate at school. Maybe my friends can help me figure this out. Sid jumps out of the car, excited to see his friends. Gabriella, Gerald, and May are waiting for him at the playground. Sid asks the question of the day. Do you know anyone who exercises? I am rolling reporter Sid with today's survey. I do. My dad and my dog Chester exercise together, answers Gerald. They run around this big field, but my dog is a lot faster than my dad. May knows someone who likes to exercise. My Aunt Karen does Tai Chi, May says, doing cool Tai Chi move. Sid asks Gabriella next. My brother plays soccer, and I play with him, she says. Maybe Teacher Susie can help Sid and his friends learn more. Come on in. we got a lot to learn today, Teacher Susie sings. The kids take their seats. Who has something they want to talk about, Teacher Susie asks. On the playground, we talked about exercise, Gabrielle responds. Sid explains how he wants to watch Fire Dog Brigade all weekend. Except my mom and dad said it's not good for my body. To stay healthy and strong, you have to exercise your whole body, Teacher Susie says. Even your feet, asks Gabriella. And your arms, asks Gerald. Yes, exercise is even good for your brain. It helps you think better, Teacher Susie explains. It's time for an investigative exercise with a special outside super fab lab on the playground. Grab your journals and let's go, Teacher Susie says. Teacher Susie describes the right and wrong way to exercise. There are many ways to exercise your body, she says. The important thing is just to move your body and have fun. Wow. You'll know you're moving around enough when you can feel your heart beating fast, Teacher Susie continues. Sid and his friends put their hands over their hearts. They can't feel anything. That's because right now their hearts are beating slowly. But after some exercise, they will try again. Sid leads the group in some stretching and warming up. Then everyone shows a favorite way to move. Gabriella kicks a soccer ball. Sid does a robot dance with a robot voice. I like pretending to robot making pancakes. May pretends to garden with her grandpa, planting and weeding and watering. 
Gerald tap dances and sings. Hey, that's exercising his lungs, too. It's your turn. What's your favorite way to move your body? My favorite way to move my body is walking. I love walking to get out and see the scenery. You're all exercising and building strong muscles, Teacher Susie says encouragingly. Everyone put your hands over your hearts and observe if it's beating the same or faster than before. May says her heart is beating really fast, and Gerald and Gabriella agree that they are breathing fat really fast. You're a scientist. You can do this too, says Sid. Sid and his friends grab their journals. It's time to draw some observations. Gerald draws a picture of himself dancing. I'm drawing myself working in my grandpa's garden, May offers. Picking up every single weed is hard work, but it's fun. Gabriel draws a picture of herself playing soccer. Sid draws himself as a robot. His heart beating fast and really hard. Boom, 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 Sid says. Sid can't believe the school day is over already. There's Grandma to pick him up. Hey, Grandma, we learned about exercise today. Sid had no idea playing, dancing, and using his body was so important to staying healthy. Staying healthy is fun. Sid can't wait to tell his family about his new brilliant idea. Scientist in the house. We learned how exercise is good for our bodies in school today, Sid says. It gives us energy and helps our heart and arms and even our brain. But what is Sid's great idea? His parents and grandma wonder. Instead of watching Fire Dog Brigade, our whole family is going to act out Fire Dog Brigade. Hooray! Hope you all enjoyed it. See you soon.